Hey guys and welcome back to Factorio. Just as I get a tiny little lag spike, we're playing once again with Arumba, Avak and Stijo. We're playing Ass Factorio. There. Uh oh, What's okay. You? What? Uh, what? It's not yeah. uh, no. Yeah. That's wrong. Yeah? No. Yeah? Yeah. No. Mm -hmm. I, no. I, I think you think you are in fact mistaken. Oh. That's not great. I'm not a big fan of being mistaken. <laughs> You should get used to it. It happens a lot. Take me however you want to take me, but don't mistake me. Uh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even sure where we can go with that one. I think we should oh probably God, leave it well enough joke. alone. <laughs> I'm just trying stuff. I don't know if this makes any difference to you, Joe. Well, I've sorted the bottom line. Now it's the, the bottom side that's... You see this craziness that I've done? Yes, I do. I don't know. Um, for sure. <laughs> Things mm -hmm. and stuff. That sounds awesome. Mm-hmm. I mean, at the end of the day, all, the same amount's actually getting through. It's, yeah, it's, I don't... I, it doesn't actually it, do does anything. Does it even do anything? <laughs> no, it doesn't. It doesn't do anything, because we need, we need more... It's just we need more ore on the lines right now, and that's the problem. So right. actually, that that's good, though. That means that we're actually... Using all of this. Is there any way we could get more? Like, unload faster? What if we yeah. did this? What if we just took, like, another inserter on these side belts? Yeah, exactly. That's, well, as soon as I make blue inserters in my pocket, that's what I was going to do. Problem is we don't have enough space in the middle here. Okay, we're making loads of sulfur now. Now I just need to convert the sulfur into sulfuric acid. I've got a buffer for the sulfur as well so that we can just collect them if we need to. Um, I'll leave room to build whatever we need for explosives because we're bound to want that eventually. I think um, we need to turn all of these belts into red. Where? Which oh, ones? The whole... Well, but with, with this number unloading, it's... Ah, oh, seen that. Yeah, you've got uneven. You've got uneven unloading now because only the right chest is being unloaded, double, and then there's not enough room in between them for that same thing in the center. Could we do six per cargo wagon? Just do more chests, or is that not going to fit? Ah, oh, damn it! Uh. No, we can't really do. More. Uh, I mean, we've got them coming out of both ends, and no, I think that six or eight eight unloaders for train wagons really pretty good. The only thing I could think yeah, of that even... would be faster would be to um... if we used these as oh, passive. Dude. What? Um. Uh, can we have them? If we have them shoving into boxes, uh, I'm trying to think what's the best way to do it. Well, I'm thinking the easiest, simple, like the simple solution I've done it before is we make these into passive provider chests and yeah, and get the robots to do it. Have robots just shuffle a little bit of it around to help unload. Yep. Well, that's what I was. Well, basically the way that I've got it and my well, what seems to have turned into a like robot world series <laughs> is. Uh, it used to be a looping series. It used to be a series with loops. Now it's a series with robots. I can think of nothing As wrong with this. I've got the these all active providers, and then just rows upon rows, like going down either side of um of my belts, just unloading. I think I've got like five, six at either side of the belt, and that fully fills a blue belt. But is there any way we can do that without robots? Like pre-robot? Mm-mm. Not that I know of. Some of these are being unloaded unevenly. You notice that? Yeah. The outer I belts did. are... Or the outer chests are empty. The inner chests are full. So, it's not ideal. I'm just manually moving some around to keep them working. But it must be because we need even faster belt in the center. So they can merge equally, or...? Yeah, I don't think it's... Yeah. 
That or we could use splitters to help merge we... the belts instead of side loading. Well, these... Yeah, they'll take from there. We could have six at either side of the belt. So you could have one there, one there. But then you're just going to have the issue is that it can't get onto that middle belt quick enough. Right, plus the cargo wagons don't always line up perfectly. Yeah, well, I think you'll find I made this train stop and the cargo wagons are fantastic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you have made a grave <laughs> mistake, Rumba. I've, I've, I changed your unloading system a couple times here, Stejo. This is my unloading system. You're wrong. Yeah, it was, it's my, I placed the train stop. Oh, gosh. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's a lot of work. I, I think... Um, Again, see here how this bottom right chest is empty and the center chest has tons. So that yeah, means that the... Really I don't know why it's doing that. I mean, it's only unloading 2%. Are it you, shouldn't really be that big of a delay. On oh, this you, know, side? you know what it is. Let's try this. I think it's this simple. I think it needs to be like this. That's the issue. Is that that tile that it's trying to unload into occasionally... Dude. Yeah. It can't drop it because there's just something, something there from the other one. I think that should allow them to unload evenly. Oh, I accidentally rotated this. Oh, it's fine. Just put it however you want. <laughs> Go in any direction. No big deal. <laughs> well, I'm actually... And I'm going to test this. I'm going to... Um, clear out the iron ore from one of the sides. Just kind of observe it for a moment. Yeah. It's strange. That's what I love about Factorio. That something so small can make such a massive difference to your yeah. entire factory. Efficiency! Yeah, I had never considered that that might be an issue. And then, all of a sudden, over, what, the last two hours of it collecting iron, we see this big discrepancy in the amount of iron in one side versus the other. Yeah. Alright, so the bottom right section is totally empty. Let's wait and see how it does with the next train. Although, when the... We'll just wait here for a minute, just waiting on the train. When the, um... If you look at the unloading, look at the outside inserters. They're a lot slower. You see what I mean? Oh, so you think that it's not just that the unloading from the chest is slow. You think that the inside inserters are grabbing from the cargo wagon faster? Yeah, they look like they look an awful lot slower. Look at that. It's like yeah. twice as slow. Actually, you're right. If you just hover over the two chests, you can see that the inside has like 130 right now, and the outside has 90. It's not a power issue, is it? They have power. No, it's just because they have to stretch so far, because they all pull from the center of the wagon, as opposed to from the closest place, like you would expect. Huh. So it's not really because of the unloading onto the belt, then. It's just the inside well, ones they're picking get up more. Yeah. We're actually getting attacked right beside us. Ah, <laughs> we're not doing anything about it. That's the thing about this is once once you're in the zone, it's like, nah, I really don't care what's happening around the rest of me. You know, it's a simple solution. What happens is when the factory gets destroyed, it stops making pollution, and the biters go away. So you just let stuff blow up. The factory again. Sure. Yeah, no big deal. It doesn't matter if they die. I should probably pick up some more ammo. I'm gonna need so to yeah, set up some the... better ammo over here as well, actually. I think that's the issue with the outside. So how do we fix that then? Is there is there any fixing I that? I don't think there is a fix to that, no. Well, yes, robots. Yeah. Because robots. then you don't care then you don't care where it goes in the in the boxes. That's really annoying. I feel like they should change that. Yes, that needs changing. Factorio devs, if you're watching this, change. Change, please. It just makes sense, though. I mean, like, the ch they should they should all be able to grab from the closest part. Like, in theory, if the cargo wagon's totally full of iron ore, it's not in the center. It's it's spread out. And the ones that are on the edges are going to grab the copper or iron ore that's near the edges. And the ones in the center are going to grab it in the center. Yeah. They should all go at the so same that's, speed. That's definitely quite silly. It's rather silly. I wonder if that's an easy fix or if that's something that's going to stump a guy for half a day. <laughs> I'm wondering whether you'd be happier knowing that it stumped someone or 
that was easy to fix. <laughs> For some reason, I just get this kind of impression that you'd be generally quite pleased if you caused yeah, some guy being a, a load of work. Alpha D. Yeah. <laughs> I still think we should use the express belt in the center of the unloading. Yes. No, definitely. Because um, you can see there's a, the, the top half of the unloading, the iron ore is having to wait to side load a little tiny bit. Yeah. Ah, lovely. I like to see things actually getting done. And you know what else I like? What? You've made buffers. What? Um, Avax made buffers on his sulfur. Oh, ah. yeah? Yes. Yeah. I'm learning. Good man. Oh, right. I was, ages ago, going to be increasing copper smelting, and then, uh... We don't even need to... We need copper ore if we're going to do any more smelting. Trains? Just... Did you say train? I, yeah. <laughs> I, something about a train. Caesar was very happy now. Yeah. Let's make another massive mining operation that's going to get destroyed by the biters. Well, now that Have we've we got done... battery production, we should be okay. What we about just need advanced... To put... What? Advanced circuits? Those being made yet? Uh, if you're making them, then yes. If you're not making them, then no. Damn. Is it red circuits? Yeah, Whose job is it to be making oh, circuits? Uh, Stegios. Um, oh, plastic. Stegio. Plastic. Yeah, of course. It's plastic. Bloody oh, Come on, we, we've got, like, gallons of oil. Like, so many oil. How much is a gallon? Wh oh, it's a lot. What, what, it's an imperial <laughs> unit. Um, is America an empire? I think so. Oh, okay, yeah, then it has every right to be using an imperial measurement system. In that case, I have no complaint. Well, when the last four presidents have all been from, like, two families. <laughs> May as well be, yeah. then, I suppose, yeah. <laughs> it's, I swear, like, like, well, not not the last four presidents, sorry, but, like, <laughs> like we're, we're coming up on the next election, and they're like, yeah, it's going to be Bush and Clinton again. Great. <laughs> Yay. I've seen that, oh, actually. I was, yeah, that's I was what I want. Presidential candidates. I was like, wow. <laughs> I really want another Bush or Clinton. Well, we're going to need, uh, <laughs> we're going to need coal down here by where all the um, stuff is being processed. And then we can get plastic processing up in yeah. full scale. You heard it here live, ladies and gents. I remember once another bush. Hmm. No. Or, or Clinton. I really feel like with like 300 million Americans, we could probably find a few other people to be candidates. Are you sure? I mean, because Quite... I'll be honest, if someone walked up to me tomorrow and said, do you want to run America? I'd be saying, no. <laughs> no, thanks. It's fine. Just, I don't want to have to deal with that mess. Not that America isn't a good country, but it, it is kind of messy to have to walk in there. I, I imagine anyone taking on the White House right now would be like, oh God, where am I even going to start? It's like, yeah. I can imagine I, anyone taking on freaking British Parliament in the same. Oh, well, no, no. We've already established how to start with British Parliament. Boxes of gunpowder underneath Parliament. <laughs> it's, it's a tradition. We celebrate it every year. It's just no one's managed it yet. I'm, take, I'm taking apart your very aesthetically pleasing little base no. with regular bullets, AVAC. There's no way this is going to defend <laughs> anything. Oh, that one all the way up the top. Oh, yeah. By all means. It's useless. It is, it, they're all useless now until we get uh, more proper bullets. Oh, you're making batteries. You can get proper bullets that go pew pew. <laughs> those, aren't, those aren't bullets, Stijo. Light bullets. No, 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 no. no. Stijo. Hmm. <laughs> Lasers <laughs> do not go pew, Steve. Yeah, they do. No, 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 they, they, they don't. They, don't, they go. Zap. No, 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 no. They go. Zap. No, no. It, 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 uh. <laughs> I'm pretty it hurts, sure. Steve. It hurts. The power plant know, might though. go you zap if it's particularly poorly built. But to the, yeah. the, the, the everything else, no. I am. Oh no! I am mixing the coal line with the iron line. Apparently, I was about to say I am changing things to do with. For the worse, with the sounds of it. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, I'm currently messing about with the coal line in order to get the iron line fixed. This little base in here and is completely surplus to the man at this point, but damn it, I like it. Mm. 
All right. Well, Iron Base 1 is, is done. Pretty much. That actually it's sounds like really cool. interesting. Iron Base 1. Yeah, it's a it's a historical landmark. I mean, this thing supported us for minutes and minutes. Many, many minutes. Possibly <laughs> even just, 60 of them, maybe. I just sat and done that and like, <laughs> there's no freaking reason whatsoever. Because I still don't have enough space. <laughs> Where are all our bricks being kept right now? I don't know. Apparently in between my ears. What? I, I think you should get that sorted out. That doesn't sound no. very good. Uh, I, I do not see any brick production going on. Oh dear. We have no walls. Don't blame me. Was it me? I don't think it was me. Um, we were um, making bricks. Things are being blown up. Fix it. Oh god, it's really near me. Uh, do you have any red belts on you? Just fix that I up. do. What the heck? I'd, but I remember I'd done something crazy here and I don't know what it was. Where? Well, I'm not gonna. That? I'm not gonna mess around with that. I wash my hands. I need to find out where there's nearby stone. Oh my lord! There's like no stone anyway. Oh no, I don't have red belts. Oh, there's a tiny bit of stone oh. right up there. Really? I do have red underground belts though. So only bit of stone. Ah, jobs are good. Wow. <laughs> oh, people are gonna hate that. What? I don't have any red belts, so I just use red underground. You went underground for no reason? <laughs> I, I, I don't think anyone cares. I'm cleaning. I'm, I'm in a very cleany type mood. I'm like, I'm like vacuum cleaning right now. That's fine. You can come to my flat once you're finished. Yeah, I'm picking up the belt that we're not using and cleaning up telephone poles. You know, for the phone, the long distance phone calls that we make. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, Vec, didn't you say a while ago you really like using solid fuel? How come you haven't made any solid fuel? Um, because I've been trying to rush to get batteries so that we stop dying. This is you rushing? Plastic. <laughs> this is rushing. Really? Yeah, genuinely, yeah. Oh, you know what it is, Avec? When we, we were making bricks, you see where the copper furnace assembly is? That used to be stone. That's where we were oh, making bricks. Okay. And we converted it to copper so that we could make more iron. Right, okay. Well, I've sat up uh, some more stone mining just down the bottom, just, just a little bit. I sped up mm. some of the corners now, I remember. Oh, hi, this is great. Hmm. Good job. I'm, I'm impressed with you. I'm manually placing down walls so that I can repair them so they stop taking up multiple inventory spots. <laughs> Isn't that annoying? Yeah, so there should be quite a bit of stone in these chests right here, but it's not smelted. So if you want to make some brick, um, have fun. Ah, okay, cheers. What the heck? Oh, what? Oh, okay. Well, since there's so many, uh, so much coal going up along here, I'll just grab some steel, set up some furnaces. Yeah, Iron Base 1 is officially empty. There's some stone up here as well, by the way. Do you want me to just repurpose this line for a stone line? Since we've got this line and it takes forever to disassemble? Yeah, sure. We'll always right. have a small uh, I'll, need for I'll it. I'll disconnect so. it down here. Yeah, the one that used to be iron. Make sure that's not connected. We don't want stone coming out of the iron line. Oh, of course, we need uh, stone brick for that. Ow. Oh. There we are. Sorted. God, that was a lot of uh, transport belt. Even if it was single player, I wouldn't disassemble all that. <laughs> that is far too much transport belt. Oh, construction robots finished. Oh, we can't get logistics. Uh, we can get character logistics though. Right, I desperately need plastic. Well, if you can get coal down to the bottom, then we should be okay. 
I mean, we have oil. We can make about. I mean, you know how to make plastic. You've done it before, haven't you? Me? Yeah. Of yeah. I have. Yeah. You know how? What? Do you, wait, wait, what? What? I'm coming to help. You're just gonna keep complaining. Negative Nancy. Yes. Yeah. Negative oh, Nancy. What? Uh, your pick. Yeah, Nancy's just negative woman. Really negative. Poor Nancy. I don't know what she did to get this this reputation, but I'm sure it's undeserved. Also, I think picking up a lot of this residual equipment should help the game run better, maybe. Although, Hopefully. I have to say, I, the, the game just seems like it's running so well. Oh, remember, yeah, it's really great. I remember the first couple of times I played multiplayer Factorio, it, like, it just started to suck. Yeah, it was so, not good. So early on, and you desync oh. all the time. Now we're building these huge factories. Has that got anything to do with indivi individual players' connections, though? Maybe, but also the amount of development that these guys are putting into the multiplayer. Oh, yeah. Pretty much everything that... Uh, every update that's been lately has been a... Yeah, they uh, have... A, like a stability upgrade. All these fancy words on their dev diaries about determinism and shit. <laughs> I don't know how that Does affects... Does game work better, please? <laughs> yeah, they could they could make their whole dev diary just say game works better now, by a bit. Download Thanks. new patch, and I'd say all right, let's do it. Yeah, you'd say it like that as well. All right, all right, yeah, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> right. We're just getting rid of this line. We don't. Though. We just yep. absolutely okay. don't. Need. Okay, are you, are you, I'm, I'm in a good spot. Yeah. Where do you want this you stone? Hey, back. Where's this going? Uh, well, I haven't got an, a specific area for setting up the stone yet, so if you can see something good, then put it there. If you could make some electric furnaces, I'll just turn it into brick for you. But I don't want to run a fuel line. Yeah, okay, we'll have a look at electric furnaces in the next episode then. Alright, cool. Alright, see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.